Hey guys, what is up? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. So we're currently in day four of training camp. Everything is going well. Um, first couple days were great. Uh, Frank Vogel set the tone defensively. I shot a video on that and how much I appreciated that and love that coming out of Frank Vogel. Players were responding well to it. You can see it in post-practice interviews. Everybody loved it. Um, everyone's talking about it. Even LeBron James came out and saying how he appreciated the, the coaching staff for putting us in a position and really holding us accountable. Um, so everything's going great. Day three, I think they rested LeBron James and Frank Vogel said, you know, we're going to be resting guys. Anybody over 30, we're going to play smart. We're not going to go hard. I love that. Save these guys. And, and LeBron's not going to play too much in the, in the um, preseason, apparently. So, which is cool. Um, we all want everybody to play and we want to win the championship day one. But um, yeah, we got to be smart about it. But um, so that's the case. And but thing is, everyone's talking about Avery Bradley. And uh, so Avery Bradley's name been coming out like, I mean, everywhere. He's been trending in terms of like what people have been saying, like the guy coming out of camp. Everybody's watching what Avery Bradley's doing. Like this dude is going crazy. And then I see some 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 images. I'm like, wow. Well, we know Avery Bradley was an elite perimeter defender. Um, you know, with the Celtics days, obviously, I think hamstring issues or whatever injury issues kind of kept him inconsistent the last few years. And uh, he hasn't played full season or a really, you know, uh, to the point to where, you know, he can be back on that elite defenders list, all team defense or just being seen um, often. But he's healthy right now and he's hungry. He's looking to prove himself on the squad. But I want to show you this image and just kind of get my my take on this particular image. Hopefully they don't demonetize my videos because I'm showing this, but I don't care. I want to show this, but check this image out. Lakers tweeted this image and this image right here is crazy. This, this says it all. Look at this dude. This dude, look, he's well balanced. He's not fouling. He's looking to see the picks coming. But he's straight smothering Rondo. I mean, well balanced, just like, just smother, completely smothering this dude. To the point, I mean, look at this dude is hungry. So that image right there, I love this image. It's like picture perfect defensive stance on a ball handler. I mean, goodness gracious, this dude is, is, is just, just from this picture, it looks like you can just tell he's a defender. Every, you know, here, here's, here's Danny, I see you, Danny Green. He, he's trying to go easy and trying to get, trying to get hurt. He ain't trying to get too much in someone's face, but you know, he sees a pick coming and he's looking to either go under it or over it. But um, look at Rondo trying to get through as well. But then I like this one as well. Cookies, cookies. Look at him about to pick Quinn Cook. But um, I mean, that just shows me, look, look how, I mean, just a couple of these shots, I was really impressed just by looking at these, but I love what the potential is of what we can get out of Avery Bradley. Um, but let me get back into the light. Yep. So, but um, the thing is, it brings up the point, could Avery Bradley start? I mean, think about it. We don't need a traditional point guard, ball handler. Um, technically, to play to start with LeBron James. Um, maybe you start Avery Bradley. I'm just throwing con conceptual Avery Bradley, Danny Green, um, LeBron at the three to handle the ball. He's our Magic Johnson now. He's our Ben Simmons, right? He's our point guard. Um, then you got AD at the elbow and Dwight Howard at the five or Javel at the five. I don't know, but you think about the benefits of a guy like Avery Bradley starting. You got him picking up a Dame da Dame Lillard. Um, I said Dame Dash. Dame Lillard. Um, he's picking up a Jamal Murray. He's picking up James Harden. He's picking up a Donovan Mitchell. Um, he's picking up CP3. Name any tough point guard in the West. He's picking them up. And he can guard ones twos and some threes that's how good of a defender he is having said that should he start i don't know but the point is a guy healthy and is that of an elite defender you're not keeping him off the floor 
I don't care who you are. So he's taking someone's spot if he's healthy and he's playing at this elite level and he's defending at this. And and you know what? He can knock down an open shot. I think he can, what is he, above 30%? At one point in his, he was definitely way up, I think it was like 35 plus, but um, from, from three or whatever. So he's definitely, a, a, can knock down, he's a vet. He can knock down the shot and he can do things. He just, he's not a distributor, ball handler type point guard, but again, probably don't even need that. Anyway, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting. This is not, this is not a knock on any of our guys. I love all our guys. I'm saying just putting the best five on the floor to start. That's all I'm saying. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to get my videos like this in your inbox when I release them. And as always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MikeSportsLA. Appreciate it. Talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.